Okay, that's the end of the video and that's how we polish the brake shims. Okay, so let's talk a bit about this uh, DIY. Do we really need to polish the brake shims till it's so reflective? Alright, you can see I'm wearing an orange shirt. No, the answer is no, you do not need to. All you need is just um, clean it up, make sure it's nice and flat. Then you're all good for a new installation of a new uh, brake pad. These are not new. Um, why did I do this? Well, I was bored. Okay, I was really, really bored. So that's why I actually went ahead and do this. Now, let's talk a bit about the type of sandpaper I use. Okay, so I started off with 8,000, sorry, 800 grit, followed by 1,005, followed by 2,000, and then 3,000. Okay, and the medium that I use is water, just water. And then I just polish it with, well, paint polish. <laughs> okay, because that's the finest one, and also I do not have auto sew uh, at my disposal right now. So, well, make use what we have, right? Okay, so this is a very nice and fun experiment, making this all nice and shiny, but I might just change to a new brake pad that actually has its own shim so these are this would not be required but I'll still keep them because if I were to buy this new these are all Toyota Alphard's uh, brake shims a set of this which is 8 plates costs about 120 ringgit and that is bootleg not even the original the original would cost way more than that okay so these are very expensive shims so I'm keeping them and you're probably wondering, hey, you did a metal polishing on the shims, would it be any thinner? Well, not really actually, it's neglectable, it's less than 0.01mm, so yeah. Well, that is if you pra uh, practice moderation, don't go all the way extreme till it's mirror po uh, polish on all front. If you can see, I don't know if the camera can capture it, there are some dents over here that I wouldn't... I didn't polish out all right because if I were to do that I will have to actually send the method down even further which is not something I want to do now the shims what the what are the purpose of brake shims all right it's basically to make sure that your brakes does not squirrel when you when you press the brake pedals okay but of course when you're installing it you will need to put a layer of uh, brake grease on this side as well as in between the, sh the shims before you install it okay and that's the end as usual i hope you learned something i hope this was entertaining i hope it was entertaining i think it would be kind of boring but well it's fun for me so i like to share my fun with you guys okay so if you like this Hit this, if you dislike it, hit this, but leave us a comment down below on how to improve further. And if you have not done so, make sure you hit the subscribe button because we have a lot more projects coming. And I'm trying to make about 5 videos a week now instead of 2 or 3. Alright, so there will be long videos, there will be short videos, but it's all going to be beneficial videos. Alright, videos with knowledge, videos with um, experiment results, good or bad. But I will not be doing prank videos or any of those hipster videos. Alright, it's just not me. I'm too old for that shit. Alright, till next time, I will see you again.